What's going on, Raphael Collective? Well, I was just told I have a message for you. I don't know what it is yet, but we will find out together. Oh, yes, we will. All right. And so we have that, and we're choosing this bad boy. All right. Let's see what we got here. I've been doing a lot of numbers. I've been doing a lot of timelines lately, so this might be a timeline reading. Okay, that's our spread. Let's see what we received. Do -do -do -do. I'm feeling like this has to do with timeline. All right, slip them over. Mm hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. So we have seven of cups up hand. So that's like being delusional. We have the queen of cups in reverse. So an unempathetic source. The empress up hand, honoring the strength of honoring the divine feminine within, the nurture, the compassion, the sympathy, sympathy, nothing to do with gender. Then the page of swords in reverse, so an uneducated, like, or like a, like a, a dull person, somebody that doesn't want to learn new. They think they know everything. The magician up hand, that's the master manifester, being in control of all planes, physical reality, spiritual reality, yaddy yaddy. Hermit up hand, so that is being inwards, drawing, on your own intuition, allowing your energy to be only given to the ones that are deserving of it. And then the Ace of Swords up hand, success, completion. So this is this is a timeline reading, but this is more it's feeling more like they need me to catch you up. You've had a lot of people you've uh, gone back and forth with, you know, throughout these last couple of years. As we all do, right? When we're figuring out who the divine is and such. But there's one specific person that from the beginning, you thought, you from the beginning, you've always wondered if you were delusional about this connection, if you re registered some signs wrong. I want you to put a person in your mind right now, okay? The person that from that that truly like you've gone back and forth in your head all the time. Is this over? Is there clarity? Why hasn't my energy been able to completely disconnect? Even though I feel fulfilled and I'm I'm fine without this person, why can I still not energetically disconnect from them? You know, it's not like why, but it's like why do I see their name everywhere. Why do you send me these signs all the time? Is it them? Have I been delusional since the beginning? Were they just here to help me along my spiritual guidance? Were we meant to experience each other but not have fruition? Has our voyage already crossed? Or is there something more? We are to have fruition in this lifetime. We are to be together physically in this lifetime. Get that one person on your mind. And we're going to pull this card, okay, to see if it's that person. And we can go forth with that. All right. Let's see. Oh, and I'm going to pull two cards, too. 1,000%. I meant to pull one card, and I pulled two. And they're both, yeah, Ace of Wands and Eight of Wands. So all about the new beginnings and a speedy, speedy, speedy offer coming your way. You're meant to have fruition with this person in this lifetime. Past lifetimes, you passed by each other, saw each other, had that spiritual download, and continued on with that lifetime. This lifetime is about you two having fruition together. So somebody in the beginning, you weren't sure if you were being delusional about the connection. There were things you were being delusional about within self-work, thinking that you were ready for this, but that's the whole part of the process. You see, both of you had to find in words how to own the strength of the, of the divine feminine within the nurture, the compassion, the sympathy, right? Balancing the scales of between being a hard ass but not being a little bitch either. See, now, 
a lot of the efforts that you were that you had done in the past and you were worried about were being taken in vain and some were totally gone this person sees the strength in you this person sees the strength in themselves you've been you've been working simultaneously with these upgrades with these downloads you're doing the work they're doing the work see with this page of swords that person that's unwilling to learn both of you during this time of separation have let go of these energies have closed the cycles with romantic partners that need to be closed before you two could have fruition because then you could have gotten together and would have been like well what about that person what if i would have gone back to the other person instead of going forth with you don't even have to like spirit makes things happen for you not to you all of those doors that were open that needed to be closed you've solidified so that this person comes in neither of you can be like the reason my I didn't end up having fruition with this person or I'm not happy is because you came in and influenced me blah 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 no neither of you are in each other's lives so making these people leave your life was completely between you and your gods and then the way things line up with the synchronicities they were doing the work too so those people that were making you feel like you couldn't learn, you couldn't grow, you couldn't prosper, shutting them out. Now we're in this energy. So we have the magician with the hermit and the ace of swords. So you both understand you're the master manifestors of your life. You, like I'm telling you, it doesn't matter that there's no communication at this current moment in time. Raphael Collective, you both are in love with each other. You both do not question the connection and that you manifested into each other's lives now we are in hermit mode though the ace of swords completion the perfection everything coming together my friend you're wanting to know is the ball now in your court to reach out or are they still to reach out to you and you know what the cards the oracle cards are going to let us know is the ball in your court to reach out? Or are they reaching out to you? Let's see. Let's flip these bad boys over. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, so we have, I'm afraid to contact you, literally. So this person is wants to contact you but is afraid we have happiness up hand we have libra outwards i still have feelings for you and fire fire sign sagittarius aries leo interesting okay so this is interesting because the person wants you to contact them but I, but it's almost like if you don't do it at the right time when spirit sends that message They're going to fall back into their weakness and not message. You see, the thing that would make them the happiest would be to release the need of fear. Both of you had a Libra that was getting in the way of your connection. That has been uh, solidified and grateful for the spiritual lesson. And both of you... This is interesting with that. I still have feelings for you. The person, your divine could have fire placement or this is just fire energy. Yeah. I still have feelings for you. Man, this is a hard one. I would say at this moment in time, my friend, don't make a decision. From what I sense, it's going to end up being, I do sense it's going to, oh man, this is interesting energy. Air sign. And I'm getting this more on a sideways feeling. So both of you could have air signs. So both of you had to get rid... Uh, and Yeah. Well, both of you had to get rid of a Libra. From what I'm sensing. The person that you're wanting to contact. Your divine. Could have fire placement. But I feel like both of you definitely have air placement. 
given out to the world. That's how I pulled the card. So honestly, um, the guys are telling me that it's going to be you who ends up reaching out because this person truly wants to, but you're the divine masculine in this counterpart and they're the divine feminine. And this has nothing to do with gender. You're, if you're the masculine in the counterpart, it's kind of just like you're the one that like at the end of the day, decisions most of the time will land with you or forward movement lands with you. Okay, and then the, the divine feminine is the one that really brings a lot of like like the compassion and stuff to the to the dynamic. And it could even be the one that needs more of the passion, more of the sensitivity. But still, everybody has both energies within you. Okay. I sense because you're the masculine. And what the cards are telling me is that you are the one that's gonna make the forward movement. You are gonna be the one that sends the message. But my friend, it's not time yet. So don't send it. If you send it now, it's not going to work. Spirit is going to master manifest the literal most perfect sign you could ever ask for, for when it's time to message this person. Okay? Wow. This is amazing, fiery energy, passionate, a lot, a lot of physical attraction on both ways, yes, but spiritual, emotional, you are divines. You are a part of each other's complete bigger purpose. You have helped each other free yourself from actual delusion. And that's the funny thing with spirituality, right? Because it can be thin lines between spirituality and switching into delusion. This person, this connection has helped solidify that feeling and difference of, mm, I'm going to let that go. No, that's delusional to believe that can work versus fuck spirit sending me all these signs and it's made me do all this growth. It's made me trust my intuition. You know, you're authentic. This person sees you as like collector's edition, limited edition, you know, special. Something to cherish and take good care of. That's how you see each other. So break the delusion. Don't for a damn minute think spirit send you all these signs. And you're wrong. Just remember. They'll send you that sign when it's time to message. Don't make it fit. Spirit's proud of you. You focused all on the inward. You focused on the self-growth. You love this person unconditionally. And they love you too. All right. All right. Let's get it. All right, you're still here. Let's see. What is that little bit of extra? A little icing on the top, the cherry on the cake. That spirit pad is for you. One, a two, a three. All right. So, remember guys, these oracles. In the inwards means what this person is sending you and outwards is the energy you're sending to this person, okay? So, let's start with what you're sending. Authenticity, invisibility, but what this card represents is authenticity. Midnight, the most magical hour of all. So, and also with this, clocks are extremely resonating. So, you could really like wearing watches. You could have a clock, uh, a, a clock walk, a clock on the wall. Interesting. You both could have an inkling to like jewelry. There's just something like I keep, I keep hearing and seeing like jewelry swinging and hitting. So there's something about jewelry within this. And then you, there's something about this person's hair that you really love. There's this sense of like, they have dark hair, but 
something light to it as well. The most magical hour of all with the midnight and the authenticity. So both of you definitely, most likely will end up start talking again during nighttime. Hmm. Yeah. This person also tends to stay up at nighttime looking at your social media. It's interesting. So you're sending them the energy of to be authentic. I think we were just talking about that right before we even pulled this tar this this card deck out as well. About being like limited edition, collector's edition, authentic. Yeah, there's a like you're the I'm sensing like one of the first times you're really going to be in each other's physical presence again is going to be during nighttime. So what are they sending you? Heart and heart. Don't allow this situation to make you bitter, cold, and aloof. Number 67. They're sending you the energy of just because I'm not here right now, do not for one damn minute disbelieve that you are, that we are each other's. Don't let the fact that I can't talk to you at this moment Make you think I don't care about you. This person sending you the energy of that they love you. And they're asking for songs to be sent to you. Certain animals. Numbers. Basically, they're... At this point, they're asking their guides to just have full... The full gate open for you when it comes to giving you synchronizations. This person believes in your connection. All right. Hell yeah. Let's get it. 